So time for the big one then. The main race of the meet in the very first S07 Cheltenham Gold Cup. You can see a big figure of 21 there. You can see the form. You can see the red hot favourite G.I. Joe with all those ones next to his name. Let's get a full look at the card. All the top trainers are represented and there's plenty going to be trying to lower the colours of this favourite. But the Top one in this three and a quarter mile grade one chase is Albano Saints for James Shea. Ascendant Forgotten for Graham Clutterbuck. Changing Strings for Ryan Costello. Denevo, Darren Thompson. G.I. Joe, the red hot favourite, Leon Van Rensburg. Kasban Mulligan for David Robertson. Landscape Road for Craig Allen. Lap of the Gods, Leon Van Rensburg. Knickerbocker Glory, Joshua Sutherland. Pline Lukey Martin lead him. Saddlers for James Shea. Takajan Alex Cherry. Test of Faith, Joshua Sutherland. Vitruvian Hindsight, David Robertson. William Crump, John Morgan. Yesero, Darren Thompson. Byler West, John Morgan, Chingford Cross, Craig Allen, Fiddler's Woman's Derek Hinton, Lady Monarch Alex Cherry and watching carefully for Graham Clutterbuck, that's the 21 then, a big field for the Gold Cup, call in, flags up and away they go, and Byler West is probably going to be the first one to show it, but it looks like Ascendant Forgotten wants to be the leader in the Cheltenham Gold Cup, then as they race towards the first of 22 fences, and we see the field all safely over that with Takajan, just the one to take it last, but they're sorting themselves out, finding a racing position, seeing where they want to be, coming past the big green and taking that, there's a four of one gone already, yes, a rose gone, so Darren Thompson, bad luck there, that one was quietly fancied by one or two people to at least run into a place, but he's out out of the Gold Cup at the second fence and they swing out now out into the country out into Presbury Park and Ascendant Forgotten and Byler West are disputing the lead they're about four lengths clear of Knickerbocker Glory who's back in third then William Crump is fourth Sadler's four is next then Test of Faith is after that one the Landscape Road is tucked in on the inside of Sadler's four as they take the third and they're all safely over that one as well and the pace is looking pretty hot and Ascendant Forgotten is not hanging around. He's quickly gone a length and a half up on Byler West in second as they take the water. And over that one they go. And they bunch of grey horses closest to us towards the back of the pack but Ascendant Forgotten is really blazing a trail Byler West is second, Test of Faith is third, then William Crump as they take that ditch and they're all jumping well, they're all over it okay Lady Monarch and Denevo towards the back but Ascendant Forgotten is in front Byler West is second, they come to the next and over that one they go looking for the favourite, G.I. Joe is in about mid division at the moment about halfway through, just about two or three off the fence with Landscape Road in front of him, so he's tracking his biggest rival, maybe. The two John Morgan horses are towards the four in the front five, but it's Ascendant Forgotten over that ditch in the lead, then. Ascendant Forgotten lands in front, and he's two lengths clear of Byler West in second. Then Albano Saints is third, Test of Faith is fourth, William Crump is after that one. Then comes Sadler's four, they're already down to the eighth, and they're not hanging about in the Gold Cup. Towards the back of the field, two greys at the back of Vitruvian Hindsight and Lady Monarch. The racing downhill, swinging left-handed, then and coming down towards this next fence and Ascendant Forgotten continues to blaze a trail in the lead from Boiler West in second then Albano Saints stood off that one the leader but a good jump a better jump though by the horse in second Albano Saints who's now within a length of the leader but it's Ascendant Forgotten who's led all the way so far. Albano Saints is second. Byler West and William Crump stable mates are third and four. Tucked on the inside of them. Test of Faith in watching carefully who's the stable companion of the leader is next. Then after that one comes G.I. Joe who's getting a bit closer. He's moved to the outside of Landscape Road. Knickerbocker Glory has got both of those in sight. Then Lapper Gods. Chigford crosses on the inside. Then after that one is Fiddler's Woman's and Takajan. Then Denevo. Plying Lukey towards the back with Casban Mulligan and Vitruvian Hindsight. Then Chain in strings and finally Lady Monarch but it's still Ascendant Forgotten as they race towards the stands then and Ascendant Forgotten leads the Gold Cup field by three lengths into this next fence skips over it nicely they're all jumping well at the moment towards the back changing strings is the back marker but it's Ascendant Forgotten racing down towards the next fence this will be the last in the Gold Cup next time round and over it they all go Ascendant Forgotten still the leader from Albano Saints in second by LOS is next G.I. Joe is already close up on the outside in about four the fifth William Crump is on his inside then Test of Faith Sattler's four watching carefully next Landscape Road is 
is tucked in mid division still Knickerbocker Glory and Lap of the Gods after that one then Chingford Cross and Plyne Lukey but it's Ascendant Forgotten who leads the Gold Cup field as they race out for the final circuit then so it's Ascendant Forgotten in the lead Barlow West is two and, and William Crump is three then G.I. Joe and Test of Faith and Saddler's four then Knickerbocker Glory after that one as they take the next and they all stream over that one with changing strings still at the back and just starting to struggle a little bit but it's Ascendant Forgotten who continues to lead from the Morgan pair second and third William Crump and Bayer as they take the water for the final time in the Gold Cup and Ascendant Forgotten is the leader from William Crump in second. Knickerbocker Glory is making a forward move around the outside. Then comes Albano Saints and Bailo West. This is a ditch. And over that one they all go and they all jump in really well. These top chases. It's a short run to the next. And Ascendant Forgotten is only a neck in front now of William Crump as they take that one. And all over that one they go. They're all jumping it well again. And Ascendant Forgotten is still the leader. From William Crump who's going well in second. Knickerbocker Glory has crept into third. Then Albano Saints. Test of Faith is there. Then Bailo West just dropping back a little bit so too saddlers for lap of the gods is next gi joe is losing his place a little bit as they take that ditch and over that one they go but gi joe jumped that really well and started to move up again but it's ascendant forgotten who's in the lead they're suddenly already down to the final six and a half furlongs in the gold cup then over that one then that was the 18th over that one they go and ascendant forgotten is in the lead by about half a length to william crump in second then comes knickerbocker glory in third albano saints is next then comes saddlers for by west lap of the gods trying to get into it. Here comes Landscape Road round the outside with a big looking run as they take the 19th and it's Ascendant Forgotten for William Crump and now Landscape Road and Saddlers 4 are coming through. Landscape Road the first one to play his hand as Ascendant Forgotten surrenders the lead to Landscape Road. Landscape Road on the outside of, of Ascendant Forgotten then William Crump. Here comes G.I. Joe as they take the third last. Over the third last they go and it's Ascendant Forgotten chasing Landscape Road now. Landscape Road suddenly pulls a couple of lengths clear. Landscape Road is in the lead in the Gold Cup with just two to jump and a little more than three furlongs to go it's landscape road for craig allen in the lead he wants this race more than anything he's suddenly gone six clear it's landscape road but the red hot favorite gi joe is chasing lap of the gods is in third then vitruvian hindsight there's still two furlongs to go this is the second last landscape road gets over it well gi joe jumped it slowly could this be an upset it's landscape road in the lead gi joe's trying to close so too lap of the gods at the final fence landscape road gets over it well here comes gi joe and lap of the gods denivo was a faller it's landscape road for the G G.I. Joe and G.I. Joe is stumbling up the hill. It's G.I. Joe bursting into the lead. Landscape Road's got nothing left. G.I. Joe pulling away now. Being chased by his stable companion. Lap of the God is our 1-2 for Leon Van Rensburg at a Cheltenham Gold Cup. G.I. Joe takes it from Lap of the God. Kazban Mulligan and Chinkford Cross finish really well for third and fourth but it's a gold cup win for the red hot favorite gi joe he looked in trouble at least twice in that race lost his place at one point and then it looked like he got so much ground to make up on landscape road after it went for home did it go too soon who knows but Casban mulligan and chingford cross ran on really well didn't they gi joe takes it for leon van rensburger one two in the gold cup lap of the gods taking second for him Casban mulligan for david robertson he'll be thrilled with that a good run in third and chingford cross for craig allen ended up beating his number one landscape road who was fifth what an exciting gold cup only two fallers and sadly for darren thompson they were both his horses so that was a bit of a surprise oh, what an exciting gold cup that was gi joe looked like he was struggling to win that at one point but what a way he ran up that hill and according to trainer leon van rensburg if you were listening to the preview show this morning he'll be back to defend that title next season